What's going on fish nerds? Welcome back. I'm excited about today's video. I've got a lot of work to do, but I am excited about what we're doing today. Uh, if you remember a few months back, my friend Sharon actually gave me a bunch of tanks. She gave me a bunch of fish. Just she needed to downsize and get rid of a bunch of things and asked if I would take them. <laughs> yeah, I will. And so one of the tanks that she gave me was actually a 54 gallon corner tank, which is awesome. I love it. But the problem with it is I don't really have a spot in the fish room that a corner tank really works in because uh, there's not really an available corner out there. So when I brought it home, I just kind of put it in the living room. And if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know that my wife and I have a deal where I'm allowed to have as many tanks as I want as long as they're all in the fish room. And I'm only allowed to have one tank in the living part of the house. Only problem is I've already got a 55 gallon tank in the living room here where I put the 54 gallon. You know, we've got the 55 gallon here. We'll show you that in a second. You can tell the water level's down. We're working. Uh, so I kind of set it in the corner and asked forgiveness rather than permission, and it worked. It totally worked. But with a caveat, the, the tank, you know, as it came to me, as Sharon got it from the store, it looked like this. And there's nothing wrong with that, but the furniture in the living room primarily is, you know, wood grain. And my wife didn't want any more black furniture other than the existing fish tank stand. So we did a little bit of this. And now it looks like this. Look how nice this turned out, guys. So slick. And so now the good news is my wife really likes the way this looks, which is awesome for me because it means I get to have another tank out here. Thing is, she likes it so much that we now have more work to do because she wants to do the same thing she did to this stand, to this stand over here, and she wants this to have the same look because this is made out of the same wood. So she's gonna, uh, what the plan is, I'm going to take all my fish from this tank and put them in that tank temporarily so that we can do the same thing to this stand. So my job today is to get everything, get all these plants and everything moved into that tank so that we can renovate this one then I'm gonna move everything back not today but I'm gonna move everything back and then we're gonna set that one up for real in the future once we get this done but for today the job is just to get all these plants in there and uh, get all my fish in there and I've actually got over here 120 pounds of eco complete so step number one for me is going to get the shop vac and get all this sand out of here and I am gonna get Started. All right, shop vac worked like a charm. Got all the sand out. I did rinse it out a little bit at too after I uh, vacuumed out the dry sand just to make sure it was nice and clean. And now we're gonna add our Eco Complete. All right, so this is where we stand. Got our Eco Complete in there. Water's still a little cloudy. Uh, this water here I actually drew from the 55 gallon uh, just to pull that water over here. I'm also gonna move the uh, canister filter over here. But right now, we've got our bucket of plants that I have painstakingly spent the last, oh, 17, 19 hours rinsing the duckweed off of them because I'm doing my dead level best to not transfer any duckweed from the 55 gallon into this tank. So yeah, I've been rinsing these off. And uh, so now I'm gonna get them all planted. And then after that, we can fill this the rest of the way up and get the fish moved over here. 
And here is our temporarily finished product. Got the plants all in there. I just stuck all the val on the back and the crypts up in the front. And got gill in here. Got the cardinals in there. Got our banjo cat. Got our bristle nose. Everybody seems to be doing good with it. Settling in. Water's starting to kind of clear up a little bit. Still pretty cloudy. But uh, I like the effect these uh, black backgrounds on this corner tank give. It kind of just looks like it just keeps on going. And uh, when I threw all the plants in here, I mean, I was just getting them planted just to, you know, to hold them over until we got the other tank done. But I actually kind of end up liking the, the look. But yeah, these guys are just going to hang out in here until I can get the other tank renovated. And uh, I'll probably go with Eco Complete over there as well uh, whenever I redo that tank. But I'm, I'm enjoying this one. I like the way this looks. I'm excited about it. And uh, I'm excited about what I'm going to do with this tank eventually. Uh, because, you know, long term, this guy and these uh, Cardinals and everybody, they're, they're going to go back into the 55 gallon. And uh, when they do, I do have specific plans for this tank. I've got some things in mind that I want to do. Uh, and actually, if you guys have been watching my videos, a few videos back, I hinted at at least part of what I'm going to do in here. Not everything, but there is one particular thing that I'm going to do in this tank that I did hint about a few videos back. If you want to see if you can find that and figure out what I'm going to do in here. But yeah, this is the tank so far. Alright guys, so let me know what you think of this new tank, what do you think about what I've done with it, what I plan on doing it, and as for the fish that are going into this tank eventually after these guys go back to the 55, let me know your guess in the comments below what you think I plan on putting in this tank. Again, I did throw out a hint a few videos ago of at least something that is going in this tank. And it's by far not going to be the only thing that goes in here, but there is something that I've already told you uh, before I even told you about this tank. There's a fish that I told you I had specific plans for it. So see if you can find that. Throw that down in the comments below. For now, though, thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. God bless you, fish nerds. I'll see you next time.